Welcome to this tutorial on how to scan a website for vulnerabilities in today's digital landscape. Web security is more important than ever. Cyber threats are constantly evolving, making it crucial to ensure that your website is protected against potential attacks. Vulnerability scanning helps identify weaknesses in your web applications before attackers can exploit them. So in this video, we will explore three powerful tools. Number one is Nikto, then Nuclei, and Trivi. So these tools provide comprehensive scanning capabilities for various environments, including websites, network, container, images, file systems, and servers. Moreover, these tools are widely used by penetration testers, cybersecurity professionals, and ethical hackers to ensure web applications and servers are secure. So by the end of this tutorial, you will have a solid understanding of how to effectively use these tools and the particularly Nikto tool to secure your web applications. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. And before commencing, guys, just a quick info for you. If you are an aspiring cybersecurity professional looking for online training and certification from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity from MIT University in collaboration with EC Council should be your right choice. For more details, you can use the link in the description box and pin comment. So let's get started. So guys, first we'll start with the tool Nikto. So this is the website or the GitHub repository that Nikto has. So just search Nikto GitHub and you will find out the GitHub repository that's just on the first ranking. Move to that. And if I tell you about Nikto, so it's a widely used tool and that is used by penetration testers, cybersecurity professionals and ethical hackers. And it helps identify potential vulnerabilities in web applications. It was developed by Chris Sulo and is part of the open source security testing methodology manual. So Nikto performs comprehensive tests against web servers for multiple items, including over 6,700 potentially dangerous files or programs and checks for outdated versions of over 1,250 servers and version specific problems on over 270 servers. If we talk about key features of Nikto, so it has comprehensive scanning and Nikto can detect a wide range of vulnerabilities, including server misconfigurations, default files and programs, insecure files and scripts, and outdated software versions. And it has an extensive database. Nikto uses a robust database of known vulnerabilities, which is regularly updated to include the latest security threats and issues. And it has customizable testing. Users can customize the scanning process by specifying parameters such as the target host, port, and the scan type. Nikto also supports plugins to extend its functionality. And then comes the feature reporting. So Nikto can generate detailed reports in various formats, including plain text, XML, and HTML. I will show you guys how we can generate that. And it makes it easier to document and share scan results. And if we talk about advantages, so the advantages, number one is ease of use. So Nikto is straightforward to use with a simple command line interface that requires minimal configuration. And this is open source. So being an open source tool, Nikto is free to use and can be modified to suit specific needs, making it accessible to individuals and organizations of all sizes. And it has an active community. So because of that, the users and developers who contribute to its development and provide support and ensures that it remains up to date with the latest security trends. And we talk about some limitations. So it has noise generation. Nikto can generate a lot of network traffic and may trigger intrusion detection systems, that is IDS, making it less suitable for stealthy assessments. And if we talk about basic scanning, so while Nikto is great for identifying known vulnerabilities, it may not detect more complex security issues or zero day exploits. For comprehensive security assessments, it should be used alongside other tools. So let's get started with installing it. You can find the repository and you could see here all the files, the programs they have written. And if you go in the readme section, you can find the full documentation. Just click on that and you could have the whole overview 
history and trivia and it is based on the Perl language and if you want to install on the docker windows kali so they have all the things and if you want to see the usage that would be if you want to use it for the basic testing purpose you can have the look here you can use the commands and if you want to scan multiple host you could do that too and if we get back so this is the whole documentation you can have a look on it and here most probably all the usages you could have a look and now we'll move to install it so you can clone the repository on your system for that you should have git installed and use the command git clone and after that the repository name so for that we'll open the terminal if you want to install with the git as this is the ubuntu system and i don't have the git installed here so you just have to write the command git clone copy the file uh, not the file but the link and paste it here and you could go on with the cloning thing and after that you could navigate the program directory and run it using the perl command so to install Nikto, you just have to write the commands i will show you guys so just write first what you can do is sudo apt update and he is asking for the password i will provide him so he has updated all the packages and now what we'll do we will install nikto as i've already installed but i will write the command for you guys so sudo apt install nikto so you could see that he is leading packages that is done 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 and nikto is already the newest version that is it is already installed in the system so with this command that is sudo apt install nikto you can install the nikto on your system and after that to use it and that's a basic command that is nikto minus h and the server name or you could use the ip address like you could use three methods to search with nikto that could be ip address to scan local servers web domain to check public websites or ssl or http websites that is to test secure websites also so here we will have a website and to ensure you guys so use this tool just for ethical use we are not promoting it to use it for any black hat hacking purposes and we are also using to just scan the vulnerabilities and we won't be showing much of it as we don't promote these kind of activities so you could see that it has started the process that is the target ip target host name target port that is 443 and the target time so he is running and for ubuntu and mac os you can also install it and for the ethical considerations always use these tools ethically and legally and ensure you have explicit permission to scan any website or server unauthorized access or scanning can lead to legal consequences and damage to your reputation so kindly have this question with you so it's a time taking process so this tool works with the port number and where the website is hosted so all these things matter for the scanning purpose or getting the vulnerabilities checked so till then nikto is scanning the website i will show you guys the nvd website so this is national institute of standards and technology national vulnerability database so this is the u.s government repository of standards based vulnerability management data that is represented using the security content automation protocol and this data enables automation of vulnerability management security measurement and compliance so what vulnerabilities you are finding here you can go on and search on here on this website as this is the basic foundation for all these tools so guys as, as it is taking more time i will show you guys more features of nikto till then so we are in the new window and till then it happens we'll see more features so what you can do is you could write nikto minus help and you can get all the commands that are used by nikto and after this we have seen the basic syntax where you could just write nikto minus h and the ip or the host name 
and if we know that the target website is an SSL site that we are targeting so we can specify with the nikto command I will show you guys what you can do that is nikto minus h and what you want to specify that would be IP or host name so I will just write HTTP and what you want to specify and after that you just write minus SSL so by adding SSL to the end of the command the Nikto knows that the targeting website is an SSL site so this was about the SSL website and if you want to scan an IP address first you need to do is IP config and that to in Kali Linux as the command is we have to install the dev name and you could find the if config and you can also scan any http website here that is by using nikto minus h and then the website url and let's see it's still doing so till that guys i will tell you about the other tools that is nuclei so nuclei is also a fast tool that is used for vulnerability scanning and that is based on simple yml command based templates and it is used for security automation and it is capable of scanning for a wide range of vulnerabilities across websites networks and cvs nuclei github and you could see the repository here and similarly you can install the nuclei if you want to work with nuclei and you could get all the information in the readme section so how it works and how you can run on your targets and how you can install it so for installing you would just go with this command and how to use it that's also same that is nuclear minus h and then you have to write the ip or the domain name so if we talk about its key features so it is customizable it uses yml templates to define scan rules and the performance it is designed for speed and efficiency and it is versatile that scan for various types of vulnerabilities and similarly we have another tool that is trivi trivi scanner or just we will move to trivi github so trivi is a comprehensive security scanner for container images file systems and kubernetes it identifies vulnerabilities misconfigurations and sensitive data and if we talk about its key features so it has container scanning that examines docker images for known vulnerabilities file system scanning analyzes files and directories for security issues and kubernetes integration it checks for security flows in kubernetes cluster for the installation purpose you could just move to readme section and you will find all those details how's the general usage and both these nuclei and trivi are robust tools that offer unique capabilities for scanning across different environments and enhances the security of web applications containers and kubernetes clusters so these are all three tools like there are many tools that you can use and what we have done with this we have done with nikto and you could see that he has completed the process of scanning and what i told you is this is the target ip host name port and the start time and you could see that for the server cloud front he has retrieved the header and he has found some issues that is uncommon header with contents and he has found no CGI directories and if you want to force check all possible directories you can use minus c command for that so we won't be discussing these vulnerabilities if you want you can check them out on the nvd website and he has checked 6544 items and zero errors and nine items reported on remote host so he has reported them so this is how we scan any website for vulnerabilities and you should have the authority or the command or the consent for any website to, to check before that so with that guys we have come to the end of this session if you like this session please like share and subscribe if you have any doubts you can comment down in the comment section below thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from simply learn staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. 
Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.